Hey what's up everyone this is Bhaji from JK welcome on my channel today I'm going to make another video about Toshiba portable AC I have this portable AC in my bedroom now and uh, I made couple video about it so I still have a question regarding drain I made a video uh, last week I believe I explained about the drain but still people asking about how about the drain how much water and stuff so this video I'm going to cover only drain I'm in a Fresno and Sanger area so my area is pretty much dry, I'm using only AC, not the humidifier. If we are using only as an AC, we don't need to install any drain or anything. So there's not going to be much of water. Like if you go back side your AC, there's two drains. I have one over here and one at the bottom. So in this room, I have an AC for almost one month and I never drain any water yet and I don't have any drain installed so this one this one going to be have a little bit of water because uh, it's create condensation and water comes over here but with the heat this water getting dry so in this video i will open both drains see how much water we getting this drain a little bit hard we need uh, something like really uh, flat thing goes under or you have to pick up your ac and this one easy if you remove cap and then inside we have another plastic one uh, what you have to do, you have to hold something here and open cap. I know there are going to be maybe a couple drafts, uh, but I don't need to put anything if I have it. Oh, here we go. No water. So I have a rag to clean. Uh, what you can do also, you can hold somehow and you can dump your water like that. If there is, so, so far, here no water. I'm going to install this plug again back. You catch it. So what you do, if you don't want to install permanent drain, I don't have any room here where I can drop this drain. But I will do, I will open every month and see how much water I'm getting and I will drain. For this one, I'm choosing this one, this plate. Let's see, maybe going to be water a little bit more than uh, this plate. Because this one is drain. This going to have a lot of water maybe. Not a lot. It's been one month now and it have only that much water. So that's the way I say you don't need to install drain because this AC is uh, the creating condensation water goes and this drain and up drain and over time with the heat this water getting dried. You can install if you're using as a humidifier but you need to run long pipe where this water can go outside or something. It's not possible. It's not really possible that's why they made it like that. So that's the way it's portable. So I don't have that much water. I'm going to just plug it back in. You don't need it. Uh, make sure you plug it really good. Then you cap this one back. I'm holding a uh, camera with my hand. So my camera sometimes uh, moves around. So now I put cap back. So let's see how much water. I have only that much water. So basically you don't need to install drain uh, if you're using it as an AC. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you like my video, please like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next video with the new topic.